Hi and welcome back to my playroom. This is a new by the way. Well, today I'm planning to upgrade some network configuration over here. This is a little bit time place. As I mentioned before, this is my this is my main storage server, and I already connected the orange was the main cable. And I already connected three additional cables to the switch. This is for the local, this is from it from the for the income switches. I already connected three cables. The HP Poly and the 380 have built-in four gigabit ports. This was the main always. Now there is three additional cables connected and I will show you how we can do it. It's a little bit windy here. Well now as you can see there is a additional three cables connected and online and they have a different IP addresses as you can see. This is the always inside that orange cable which you saw just so we now need to go to the server management all servers press the right button there is a nick teaming One, two, three, four. We need some call them, otherwise it will not allow me to do it. I will set it to Switch independent and let's hope that I will not lose the connection to the server. And it will do it. I'm still fighting with the enclosures. Because in a in a HP enclosures and dead power supplies, and if I will switch it on, uh, the fox is gone. Command phone. Here it is. It still shows okay, but if I switch it on, it will complain about the second one of the power supplies because uh, it's dead but standby mode is off so now let's see it's still saving the settings <sighs> so it may take some time so I will just pause. And guess what? I have a lost connection. It's still lost connection, so it, I'm ready. Let's see. Oops, it's still at Uh There's a. Uh, it took the IP 1.7. Come on, stupid phone. So let's try that. Uh.
Be right back. And it changed the IP, but as you can see, the Nick team status OK. Switch independent. So now I'm let me close it up. And press the right click on the internet connection. As you may see, the connection changed the name, and we have a 4 gigabit. But I'll bring it back to the old IP because I need a static one. I'll just close it up and it should never connect. Yep. On the old IP address, my password. Uh, and voila! And I'm back! As you can see, it's now 4 gigabit. And the same IP address. And now let's test the speed. On the server, what is for the copy? The speed is only one gigabit still, but it's working. Well, all is working fine, except the one that I think I need to configure the switch, otherwise it will not allow me to make a more faster speed for the internet. So, Thanks for watching, do subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos about server and the rest stuff, and see you later, bye.